Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here back in the 452. We will be running uh, steel pipes and tools. Going to be getting the uh, oil field underway today. So that train is already loaded up and ready to go. Pretty much going to top some things off out there. Not everything totally, but we are going to get things underway and get the oil flowing today. Get that moving. All right. That all is working and we are moving. Just getting things underway to the oil fields. We do have, uh, obviously, a couple more industries yet to go. Looking to get everything connected there before we actually start, you know, dressing things up and decorating things on the railroad. Still not exactly sure how much of the lines are going to move or are done. I think most of it's pretty laid in, so now it's just kind of going to be about cleaning things up and decorating mainly. Most of the line is pretty locked. Still haven't quite finished everything yet, though, so don't know if anything is going to change completely for sure to say that it's all locked in, but we're definitely getting close. All right, let's go ahead and pick up some speed. We're going to start the, oops, going to start the downhill run here anyway, so speed will not be of a concern here shortly. Flying freight train here in a minute. Got those light empty cars on the back. Not real hard to whip those off and send them flying. That's where I know. So, kind of take you a little bit easy with these as we go cruising down the hill. Get away with 30, 31 in here pretty easy. You go much over that. I don't know when it turns up here slightly. I have uh, lost a train or two coming down this hill at, uh, you know, 33, 35 miles an hour. Not that you lose the whole train, you just whip one off the end here on the curve if you're going too much over 30. So that'll be a, like a 30 mile an hour speed limit area. They're gonna try to put up some speed limit signs and stuff for the railroad or suggested speed limits for the couple of question zones on this rail. Most of it you can run wide open. A few areas, obviously, <clears throat> you need to take a bit of concern with. Say the smoke coming out of the side of the onion stack is a bit off. That's for sure. You see it when we chug it. The onion stack is not not exactly looking the way I think. You see, from back here it looks fine, but from the sides, not necessarily. Oh, it should be. Let's get that slowed down. Which. I do really like the onion stack, so it's a bit of a bit of a disappointment there, if I'm being honest. But you know, such as things are, everything not perfect. We still know we're in early access. Things getting better all the time. I do have to say, game's in a great state right now. Still really loving the update. Made a lot of improvements. The map has been a great joy to play. New Loco has been wonderful to have in the game. It's a great ad. Really, if you don't like to have to play around with running out of, you know, Loco in any kind of way, whether it's coal, water, power, whatever, this Loco pretty much takes care of, takes care of any of that stuff, that's for sure. Great locomotive for just ease of use. 
you definitely don't need it for sure but if you're one of the people who likes to just run it and be done this is a great locomotive for that I have to say this whole layout is pretty much all that's on it now And thanks to the gold industry, you make enough money that you can do whatever you want. So you could always rebuy locomotives and do whatever. Now with the gold chain, it's kind of groovy. Finally, actually get on the on the uh, true mogul mark. You know, you can make billions in the game now at, with uh, the gold chain. That's for sure. So that's kind of cool. Before it was like you were a logging empire if you had 10 grand. <laughs> you know, basically. Nowadays you get a lot more than that. Alright. Well, aiming through, everything working just fine. Rail's going well. This loco is full. Again, I know that's one thing that's been looked at. This is the water in the boiler, not the water in the tender. If you want the water in the, in the tender, you have to go back and look at the water door. And it'll show you how much water is actually in the tender. Otherwise, the one that's on the UI, this water is just the water in the boiler. You see that when you buy the C125s, because the tenders are actually empty, but the boiler is you'll get this is half full because that's what's in the boiler. So cleans that up. We're by gonna decorate these switch stops, I think is gonna be kind of the thing too. I wanna turn around and see. I know. I don't know, come up with some kind of creative idea for in and around the switches to make them little stops of some sort rather than just a telegraph boot out in the middle of absolutely nothing. Go ahead and get the regulator up there, see if we can still power through this. Maybe we're going a little faster one way or another. Give it a little more oomph and she'll pick up some speed there. Maybe open up the reverser a little bit. <clears throat> Definitely fun on the long runs trying to ring out all the speed you can ring out and play around with the uh, reverser a little bit. It's definitely a bit of fun add to the game. When, I know when they first did it, it was kind of like, ah! But it's kind of a fun add to the game in the long run, I think. Still great look in the distance and I like how somebody pointed out you know the mountains look great off in the distance and then you realize that you're driving up into them and it's just it's kind of incredible really they did such a great job with this new map all right let's get it moving Exactly sure. Well, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have at least one switch to flip on this for sure. This track is probably relay, although I don't know. This I kind of like this removal. I'm not exactly sure. It does have a, a little woo in it, but I kind of like that there. It just kind of looks the way that I like it, so I don't know. Not exactly sure if that's going to change. Still haven't run anything to the farms. Those industries are not connected. Just trying to lay in the track there. But have not gotten anything going yet for that. So that is still yet to come, obviously. Not that the 
farm industry is like uh, a whole separate kind of entity, if you ask me a little. It's more like an interior little, I don't know, industry set to run around. Not exactly sure which loco is going to go with or anything for that industry set yet. So, going to do something different there. Just haven't figured it out exactly. So, haven't started messing with it just yet. Probably come after, well, I think after the oil, you know. That's oil stuff's going to get finished up, I think, at this point first. Be ready for oil locomotive, just kidding. Though it would be cool, okay. If we could somehow, like, have a refinery and turn it into a... Uh, uh, Oil for the lake, that'd be cool. Anyway. <laughs> Working down the valley. Nice big huge open valleys. Do need to turn around and put some past sightings in here as we start to run more trains multiplayer opening it up. We uh, definitely are gonna need some more places to pass by. I don't plan on double tracking. I'm just gonna do sightings in places just way, I don't know, too big a map to lay that much track. Not that you can't, I just don't know performance-wise. That's a lot of track to lay in just for just for it being there. So not exactly sure. Alright, slow this down. I'm going to have to jump up here and flip. Oh no, we didn't get released from the logo. <laughs> Uh -oh. Supposed to jump ahead there. Springboard didn't. We'll just have to see how this works. Yeah, that's perfect. There we go. Take that. Get back on board. Let the industry know we are on the way in. Hopefully all of our switches are good there. Do have a train sitting up here. Which that's cool. Switches are good. Alright, rolling in nice and clean. We'll probably take this a little bit easy. You can see we do have the turntable over there. Turn things around. I'm gonna put some more. Uh, eventually, I'm gonna turn around and put a switching locomotive up here and a shed, and all that stuff is gonna go off back there. Should have not got to that point. Couldn't decide what to do for. Oh, hey, stop. No, 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 no. All right, we're definitely gonna have to back that up. But we're gonna unload what is lined up just because. Hitbox up here, I noticed, was pretty tight for the wood. Didn't get all 30 in there because a few of them, honestly, were dropping, like, off the edge. It's just pretty tight for what I thought, anyway. So, make sure. I don't know if these will drop in there. We'll, we'll try one. Is he even going to let us drop them? Nope, so we're not lined up. Definitely not. Okay, cool. So we'll have to back that up. Whoop, whoop. Get in the loco. Ah. Alright. Ease this thing back just a little bit without getting too crazy. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Hopefully there we can get two. Two for one would be nice. Probably not. Definitely not. Nope. Didn't go back far enough. Would have been nice. Isn't going to happen. Alright. Get this going back. That should be good enough. 
manually doing all three of them seems like a crazy way but you know what at least they're all going to get in there so that's fine and we'll pull this forward and actually drop off some of these tools that we got back there in the box all right turn off the gray probably don't need to go flying You get so used to loading and unloading multiplayer sometimes that then when you go to do it single player you realize how how different the process really can be, I guess. It is part of it, but here we go. So whatever, this is gonna be the main <clears throat> main load that we need. There we go. Go ahead and open the door as those are piling out. Money should start piling in. Yeah, there we go. Those always pay well. Then we can see beams, pipes all start disappearing, and we're starting to get some crude in there already. So that's going to be pretty cool. Got one more to go. Obviously, let's go. Get that off of there. One more car to get in, which that's cool oil production underway oil's always been a good payoff can't complain there all right that should be good just kind of winging it jumping up all right that should be good yeah good enough there we go unload it open it up see it all coming down now we're going to totally be out of wood definitely gonna need more that's for sure beams get sucked up like crazy out of here so i'm sure we'll be now running some more uh down to the sawmill logs will be the next order of the day because we'll absolutely need tons of them and then we can get the crude oil down probably get some tanker cars up here and a, and a switching locomotive to start filling them up so that i can set out uh Set out a stack for one of the freight locos, I think, to get it moving, something like that. Not exactly sure of the process, but we'll figure it out. But I think we're going to call that one a win. Say thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you get a chance, like, share, subscribe. Subscriptions are free, but they sure do help the channel. Y'all have a great day.